y'all, it's me, your fave, Jazz on Fire, and we are back again with yet another scorching high episode of Here's the Heat. Let's get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So as you've noticed, I'm a little bit off center and out of place. And there's a second chair here, and that's because, y'all, we have a special guest to bring you even more of the heat. So you know how I bring the heat, and then God bringing the heat, you know, Mother Nature? Well, now we got, boom, let's get it. Campus is favorite auntie here with us. I would like to see it. Boom. What's up, y'all? The price just went up, and the temperature just went up. <laughs> what? I'm going to have to write that down. <laughs> So yes, yes, tell us who you are for those who don't know. Okay. Hey y'all, what's good? My name is Alex Robinson, one of UNC's newest alumni. Um, period. So yes, y'all, today we are going to kind of chat it up about life post-grad. So today's episode is called Graduated, Degreed, and Grown, okay? Grown. So Alex is going to be here to give us a little insight. I mean, it's only it's only her third day out here, but period. Like, she graduated a greeting grown, so she's going to tell us about it. So, how does it feel? To be graduated, degreed, and grown. I just, you know, like, you know they say, like, what happens to a dream deferred? A dream deferred is that a dream denied. And I've really been, you know, like, you've been walking, you, you know, like how you be walking around saying you're something and believing you're something for so long. So I feel like I've been walking around here saying I was grown since I was 50. And now <laughs> here I am, actually grown, um, super excited to be here, you know? Yes. Alex is literally UNC's favorite campus auntie. I mean, like, she be styling and profiling. She be coming through school and the kids. And after graduation, she's going to be schooling the kids for real. <laughs> so, um, if you don't know, Alex is really big on mentorship. So, we're just going to ask her a little bit about how to be an effective mentor while on campus. Being an effective mentor. Um, to me, to me, I became really intentional about being a mentor because, to me, mentorship is kind of being everything that people have been for you but also being everything that you didn't have when you were coming up so kind of like this dual focus right like you <laughs> she, she a poet too Don't let her <laughs> fool you. okay so on top of being a super mentor on campus and everybody's favorite auntie alex was also my vp um tell us about that let's chop it up about bsm about bsm yeah bsm also known as the black student movement is <laughs> the largest cultural organization on carolina's campus we have about 400 the well, we have wow i'm not a we anymore oh. it's okay growing up teens <laughs> <laughs> We have 450 dues-paying members, like 10, 10 different committees, like six different performance groups. It's really like 500 clubs in one and like a community hub for black students. And this year I got to serve as VP. Really got to pour into and like be a part of the planning process and just be a part of being a part of an organization that has been like the biggest part of my heart for the past three years. All right, look, let's get into the tea. The tea. The audience would like the tea. Is that? Yeah, I heard. Yeah, I heard a couple. Yeah, okay, boom. So, tell us, four years, what has been your biggest regret? Wow, that's such a big question. Well, you know, no regrets. Regrets spelled with an A. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. If you don't, Google it. Um, but I think my biggest regret of undergrad would be um, probably not practicing self-compassion. Um, I didn't really start, I didn't learn what that was until this semester. Didn't start practicing it until probably like my last three or four months of undergrad. I did a lot, but even within me doing a lot, I didn't think of myself as like doing the most. I was like, this is the least you could do. Like a, that type of attitude towards it. So when, because I was doing the most, sometimes I would fall short and I wouldn't be able to um, fulfill everything. And when that happened, I'd be really hard on myself and I wouldn't give myself kindness or like award myself compassion and it took like my therapist sit, like sitting down with me and saying like well do you talk to your best friends like you talk to yourself mm -hmm. and that really shook me to my core because I was like no who would say like who would say such a thing that's such a mean thing to say why who's that terrible and I realized it was me I was that terrible to me um and it your own self. really changed my perspective and I wish I could have discovered it earlier in undergrad because I was hard on myself. Carolina loves to hand out L's. You would think it was called Carol. 
Lina, with all the L's they give us. But, you know, four years, you gotta have something good in there. So tell us, what is your favorite memory? My, I don't know about favorite, but it's definitely a top five memory. It actually just happened um, at our black student commencement program, which is called Umoja. I, um, and I performed. I got my very, very, very first standing ovation ever. Um, I almost cried. I was, I was looking like, wow. It's still kind of crazy to me that I am a performer, um, that I did perform spoken word, and also just looking out in the audience and seeing so many of my peers and seeing so many warm faces, like my friends, my community, um, supporting me like that. It just really, it just really hit home for me. Alex and so many others of UNC 19 have personally been a blessing to me, and so I'm really gonna miss you and others. And because of like the super huge footprints or heel prints or whatever that they left on campus things are not going to be the same without them but at the same time because of the differences that they've made like our unc experience is going to be so much better so yeah and also like in order for you to move up other people have to move out Ooh. we're going to ask because we just are dying to know this is me i'm the one i mean i know <laughs> but I, i'm ready to spill the tea sis what are your post-grad plans um, post-grad, I am going to be, um, working in Teach for America for two years, um, so, yeah, so I'm gonna be in TFA, um, my core is actually located in Memphis, which is where I'm from, so I get to go home, but I'm not living at home, because I gotta get out, up out my parents' home, so I'm excited, I'm getting a new apartment, where it's Ari Linux, and I'm just, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to have a salary, to have a paycheck, like, <laughs> because. <laughs> Woo, just the him, Lord. I know it's two years. Right, hold on, like, hold on. let's, let's, Lord, two years. Two but years. listen, just the him. Oh, just the him, you're going to think okay. of jobs, apartments, <laughs> salaries. Sa the only salary I know is what to eat. Like, sell Lord, just the him. Salary? Just the him. We're rich. Hey, man. <laughs> I want to be like her when I grow up, okay? All right, I hope y'all had y'all pens, y'all paper, y'all notebooks, your laptops, whatever you use. I know y'all MacBook uses like the with y'all laptops when y'all take notes. So whatever you use to take notes, I hope you took them because right here, this is as good as it gets. This price went up, but not for me. <laughs> not for y'all. The amazing heat that we've gotten on UNC's campus. I've been able to share it with y'all. And so now I'm gonna pass Alex, the legendary flame, <laughs> to you. Wow. And I'm Alex, and here's the heat. <laughs>